Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the digestion process where the glucose was formed. Now these glucose which are formed in the digestion process are utilized in the respiration process to release energy. So we are going to see the respiration system in this video. Breathing in and breathing out is a quite simple process and we can also control it. But what happens next is not under our control and it's not so easy as breathing in and breathing out. We not only release carbon dioxide but we also release water in the form of vapors. An average human releases approximate half a liter of water through breathing. Now the glucose which was produced in the digestion process is not consumable in the form which is it is released. So these glucose which is a six molecule carbon has to be broken down to release energy. Now these glucose are broken down in two forms. First in the presence of oxygen or in lack or absence of oxygen. So we will see how this process occurred. Now whatever may be the case, the first step remains the same which is breaking down of 6 carbon molecule glucose into a 3 carbon molecule pyruvate. There is also a release of energy during this breaking down. Now the second step depends upon the fact whether oxygen is available or not. Let's see the various cases involved. The first case is yeast where it respires in the absence of oxygen. Now the pyruvate here get converted into ethanol, carbon dioxide and energy. Now the ethanol is 2 carbon molecule. The second case is when pyruvate breaks down in the lack of oxygen. Where the respiration was supposed to happen in the presence of oxygen but due to certain circumstances the oxygen supply was not enough. Like what happens when we do heavy physical work. Now in our muscle cells what happens is due to lack of supply of oxygen the pyruvates get converted into lactic acid and energy. The energy released is utilized but the lactic acids get accumulated due to which we experience the pain we have after doing physical work. Now the third is the normal respiration which happens in the mitochondria which is in the presence of oxygen. Here the pyruvate molecules break down into water, carbon dioxide and energy. Now the energy is utilized by the cell. But the whole energy which is produced in the whole process is not consumed at a single time. A molecule called ATP is synthesized by this energy which is produced. Now ATP is a storehouse of energy. It breaks down whenever or wherever the body parts need this energy. Now before going ahead, let's see the difference between breathing and respiration clearly. So let's see these differences by drawing a simple table. Now here we have breathing and here we have respiration. Breathing is a simple process where exchange of gases takes place that is oxygen and carbon dioxide. In respiration, we have a process of oxidation of food in the living cells. Now breathing is a physical process whereas respiration is a chemical process. We have seen here breaking down of glucose into pyruvates and then into byproducts. Now breathing involves organ level that is lungs whereas the respiration involves the cellular level like mitochondria. At last we see that in breathing ATPs are used but in respiration the ATPs are synthesized. So we have seen a clear difference between the breathing and the respiration process. In the next video we are going to see the respiration in plants.